All my life, I grew up thinking I was going to be a technological designer. I love games. I love movies. Yo, when I learned how much money is in technology, a click of a button can make me money. I think my bank account changed in my brain. In my brain. I think it's important for black and brown children, especially children in Philadelphia, to be exposed to a way to succeed. I actually got banned from PlayStation Network due to changing the, uh, the colors inside the game online. One of my cousins are colorblind, so he couldn't play the game just like I could play it, so he's smiling because he could play the game with me finally. I always wanted to tackle that. That we try to break that cycle of kids not being exposed to anything that could be useful to them as future entrepreneurs and scientists. I started First Hand Philly because when we talk about young people becoming engineers or becoming software developers, there's a real gap in like exposure of like what that career entails. The program is a part of the Science Center as a part of the community outreach. You can feel welcome to tinker, learn, try things. It's no cost to the schools, there's no cost to the students. When I first heard of First Hand Philly, it was an opportunity to expand STEM opportunities for our students. And the one thing that we often inspire in our students is to get them to think about their pathway towards success and having them define what that success is for themselves. Two most important days of your life is when you were born and when you realize why you were born. Once you realize what you were here for, who? We don't really show them these are the different pathways you can take into, let's say, the sciences or engineering or technology. With First Hand, one of the things we're really trying to do is like remove all of the barriers. First Hand Philly understands the economic disadvantages that our students experience every single day. So when they offer them the opportunities to not only learn, but also earn a stipend that helps them to focus on that education versus feeling the need to have to go out as a 10th grader to get a job. We're always doing things hands-on. There's no tests, no grades, no homework. And they have the room to explore. So we get to walk over to a scientist lab and they might be anything from a material scientist to a biotech company. Our mentors are diverse as well because Images play a big part in reinforcing stereotypes, so we make sure that they don't just see white male scientists, we make sure that they see scientists of all different races, creeds, and backgrounds. When my father passed away, I just felt like life was just testing me, and me not having my head completely on straight at that moment, I just wanted to fail. I didn't want to succeed. I didn't want to get that 100, that A plus. I just wanted the F. And then that led me to multiple alternative schools, multiple disciplinary schools, talking to therapists, like everybody around me trying to figure out where do I go wrong. It's really interesting to think about how many innovators that never made it for a variety of reasons, like the thing never got built. David Williams, he was he was blessed. It, it's still a heartfelt topic. Like it was it was such a shock getting that call, getting the text, seeing everything. It just was an untimely death, and I, I feel that's that's another problem with society. Is just y'all take the good ones, like. But, <laughs> yeah, you know I miss him. I miss him. I love him to death. There's been a handful of students that I've worked with who have passed away far too early. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional here. Um, it's not only his loss, but it's like the loss of the potential. Skills that students will learn 
interacting with STEM are going to translate into all aspects of life. I'm reaching levels of, of uh, exposure to things that people take a lifetime to get to, and I'm only 17. First hand came in and made a, a great impact in my life. It opened my mind more. It made me a broader thinker. It made me think more out of the box, more wanting to open up new horizons and just see things differently than what I did before. Things that you're gonna do, people that you're gonna meet, people don't understand the power knowledge has. And that's why we need firsthand to see how you can use your brain to make the world a better place.